Hey traders, what's up? Uh, this is the watch list video for Wednesday, uh, June 1st. Wow. Um, showing you the daily of the SPY here. We've had a big run, gap down a little bit, took out Friday's high, and then ended up closing close to where we opened, um, which was just a choppy day, right? Almost always when you end up close, closing close to where you opened, it's probably a choppy day, right? Um, anyway, usually at this time of the video, before I go into what I'm watching for tomorrow, um, I go over a couple calls from today, but I'm trying to get away from that. And uh, during the day, I'm making individual one minute videos showing some setups that were called in chat. And I try to explain the reason for the setup in the video. Um, so please check those out if you're interested on a couple calls from today with the explanation of why we called what we called. Um, and again, they're only like a minute long. I try to keep them, you know, short and sweet. And maybe, uh, again, I, I always hear people on YouTube videos say, uh, please, you know, like and subscribe. Um, I mean, I'll ask you to do that too, but the only reason I'm asking, because I do not monetize my YouTube videos, so I don't really gain anything by likes and subscribes, but um, I do believe if you subscribe, you'll get um, an email alert whenever, uh, whenever I post a video. So that might be a, a reason to do it right there, right? So you get, at midday, you might get an email alert and you can go check out one of the calls made in chat with hopefully an intelligent explanation of why all within about a one minute clip. So I'm trying to trying to get into those more. Also, I'd like to hear from you and let me know if, if those are helpful or not. I, I'm a big fan of education when it comes to trading um, and I keep them short because I also understand that uh, a lot of people, if, if it was a 15 minute video about a trade, most people wouldn't watch it, right? So um, anyway, I hope those help. Let me know. What are we watching for Wednesday? Um, AMC had the gap up on the top gun numbers this weekend, but it sold off pretty much all day. So it's still an interesting stock to me um, because, you know, there's a lot of shorts in it and you have good news now, but it had already run three days into that. So um, I consider this just a pullback and it might be up from here. We'll see if we get an A plus setup into tomorrow. FTCH, really nice rip on Friday. Quiet inside day today, looking for a third day play there. Let me type that wrong. BGXX. I have trouble typing that one. Had it on bounce watch today. Um, this is what it looked like before today, right? Uh, had this big bounce back here about, what, four or five sessions ago, then came back down to retest all-time lows. So I thought it was worth having on bounce watch, and today um, actually hit new all-time lows. But this day is the one that has me interested. The fact that it went from a low of 560 to a high of 1425. So now if this triggers as a bounce play, and you guys in chat know what we look for. If this gives an intraday setup as a bounce play, it's, to me, it's got potential to have a pretty decent percentage bounce. So absolutely, even though it's an ugly chart, it's only been trading for a couple of weeks, uh, absolutely worth watching for an A-plus bounce play setup because it could be a nice gainer, right? Remember, I'm a day trader. I make my money between the bells. So even on an ugly chart, you can get a nice bounce day on something. Um, RDBX Redbox had this big pop back here. Came down, you could call this a cup and handle for about a month now. Came down, put in a lower high, now the handle forming. So we're putting that on bounce watch. M-U-L-N, nice breakout today. Um, one of our new chat room members uh, just popped in chat and uh, it's 7.17 in the evening, but said something about Mullen having a, um, uh, God, I'd have to look and see what he said. Hang on a second. Okay, he said the CEO um, of MULN Mullen is doing a podcast tomorrow. Last time he did it, I guess he mentioned a partnership with a Fortune 500 company, but didn't mention which one. So maybe something comes out of that tomorrow. I don't know the time or anything, but even if I hadn't known that, this would be on a chart, right? Because that massive volume today coming out of a nice long sideways base and then back here, it quadrupled in a little over a week from like a dollar to almost $4. So it is an interesting setup. Anyway, it did close... Looks like fairly well off of its highs, but certainly worth keeping on a chart tomorrow. ONCT, Big Pop Friday, inside day today, but a strong close goes on watch. CRTD had the big pop and then a couple lower highs, but it did close above its open today. That one goes on long watch. SWTX, this one's kind of obscure, but had the nasty gap down. Um, let's see, this would have been Friday. It topped out at 2034 and then on Monday topped out really really close to 20 it says 1998.99 i don't know how that happens but basically through 20 tomorrow um you know then uh, which is basically a break of today's high and you look to the left and say and then you got friday's high just 34 cents above for another potential catalyst and then it would be up into the gap so 
not a pretty daily chart, but as a day trader, it does have potential. BKSY, um, this had the nice pop. We've been watching it. I've actually traded it, I think, on Friday. Um, sadly, I never caught a trade in it today, and it did give a setup. I looked back at it and thought that actually was a pretty decent setup, but I didn't see it in real time, so it doesn't really help me, right? Um, as Wayne says, only execution pays. Uh, but this uh, is so strong that I am going to keep it on a chart. If you're wondering what, what I deem what would have been a decent setup, it would have been right about here because we had the gap down today. This was Friday's high. We already liked the daily. Friday's high was 287. So what does it do? It gaps down, takes out the highs, and comes up and hits 281 and kind of flags. So now you've got a kind of a tight flag below Friday's high, which could have been another catalyst. Uh, so just a break of this flag. And there you see the flag break, and then it was off to the races. Um, I always want to be careful not to say, you know, go back. Whenever you see a chart that's complete for the day, it's really easy to go back and say, hey, here's where I should have had it. But I would have called that flag below Friday's high A plus, um, even in real time. I just didn't see it. So anyway, it's extended now because it's been running for four straight days pretty much. Um, but I'm going to have it on a chart. Strong stock, right? IMTE. This one's weird to me, but I had to throw it on a chart. And I'll show you why. Um, okay, first of all, let's talk about how beaten up this was. This fell from 3650-ish, just straight down without any semblance of a bounce. I mean, look at that. Until it got down to like the $4 area, and then finally started to, here it is, finally started to curl up and get a little mojo to the upside. Um, so it's interesting to me. It's really, really beaten up stock. But uh, what's interesting is on Friday, I think this halted to the downside. And I remember seeing that on Friday. And next thing I know, I see IMTE lighten up the new high of day ticker. So after halting to the downside, it ends up ripping through the high of day. Well, guess what? Today halts to the downside again and came back up and held up pretty well. So for me, like maybe through nine tomorrow, knowing that we've got today's high of 934, we'll see. It is a squinky stock though, so you want to be careful. But you got a couple downside halts in the last two sessions and it's holding up pretty well after that. So my thesis is you may have sucked in some shorts the last couple days on those downside halts, and uh, that could be fuel for higher prices. And then I'm going to end this video with TNXP, which isn't very pretty, but in after hours, it's trading at uh, $3.16. So a nice little gap up. If it's still gapping in the morning, um, we'll certainly add it to our gap play list. Um, I want to say they are, they announced, I looked up the news, I think they announced a buyback or something along those lines. All right. Anyway, I'm done battling. I'll see you all in the chat room in the morning.